morning everyone. Today I'm super excited to bring you a food eating challenge again. I love doing these for my own personal reasons. I think they're just so fun to do and they just add a little bit something different to my everyday life and routine. I've slept in my Christmas pajamas last night, got this cozy little elf jumper on and today we are basically going to be eating Christmas foods for an entire day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, the lot. We're literally going to be having a second Christmas day on this channel so I'm super excited to kickstart December with this video. So yeah we are going to head in for our breakfast, our first meal of the day. I've decided to go for like a hot chocolate, mince pies, that sort of vibe and then as we go into the day we're going to try some different foods, put the decorations up and just get really into the spirit of Christmas. I feel like I've got dog hairs all over my face, sometimes it feels like that. So yeah I hope you guys will enjoy watching this video, if you do make sure you smash this a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more content from me over the next month. I've got some cool Christmas stuff coming up hopefully if I get my ass in gear and just film it and do it then that will be coming out hopefully soon. So the first thing we're having today is a hot chocolate. It has to be done. Christmas to me is hot chocolates, cozy nights. So we're going to be heading in with the Maltesers hot chocolate with some soya milk, some cream and some little sprinkles to go on top because I just feel like that would just set it all off and make it look proper cozy and Christmassy. And then to go with it, I've bought these mince pies from Aldi. Gone for like the mini ones because I feel like that's all I can tolerate. And that will just help me warm up, ready to put the decorations up in a little bit. I might even add a little bit of orange um, seasoning. Would you call it seasoning? Orange flavouring into the hot chocolate just to give it that really like wintry, Christmassy vibe. So I'm going to go and do that actually because it sounds really good. Also, I've got my hair done recently. I've gone for like a little bit of a darker colour throughout. Not really feeling the blonde these days and it just feel like it just broke it up a little bit. It looks a little bit more natural. As I'm talking to you guys, Doris is just literally sniffing my bum for some reason. I don't know why dogs do that, but yeah, here we go. Good morning. You're going to have some fun festive treats today? Yeah, <laughs> some more festive treats like carrots, your favourite. So yeah, I'm going to get some um, orange seasoning. I think I've got some in here somewhere. Let me just look. This is like my baking cupboard. Um, oh, there it is. We've got some orange extract there. Not sure how much to put in of this. I don't want it to taste too strong, but we're going to give it a little go. Let's have a look. I, this is going to look really bad, like a little potion, but... So yeah, just going to put a little drop in. That should be enough, I think, because this stuff is normally quite strong anyway in little bottles. The Maltesers smell nice, but then that little bit of orange just brings out all that biscuity flavour. Love it. So yeah, we're going to put a little bit of whipped cream on now because it's just got to be done. I'm going to put you guys up here somewhere. Hopefully that's not too much of a pain. Yeah, I can't really see what I'm doing there, can you guys? So let me see if I can put you guys down here. No, that's no good. I'm trying to be quiet because it's morning and yet just, I'm so clumsy and just really annoying. Doris is just like hovering around me because she loves whipped cream. We normally put it down for Bruno because he struggles to eat his food sometimes. But yeah, look at that. It's got to be loads. Look at my, why does my hand look so weird? Why am I holding it like that? Don't know. <laughs> don't know, it just looks really odd, doesn't it? Yeah, it still looks odd. Anyway, so this is my hot chocolate in my nice Christmassy mug. It's going to be loads on there because it is that time of year. I'm trying to open the sprinkles. We're just going to shove all of those. I'm not going to get my hand in again because no one wants to see that angle. Multicoloured sprinkles. So I really did a bad job of opening that, didn't I? I'm just so excited for today, guys. Like putting up decorations and just, yeah, getting Christmas started in the mood. I'm a celebrity on the telly. Christmas decorations are up in the stores. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind, to be honest with you. I normally do it a little bit earlier than this. But I just thought I'd just let the suspense lead up. So I actually felt excited for it to all come together. This is really painfully slow, I don't know why. But yeah, that's my sprinkles on the hot chocolate there. And then obviously with the mince pies, I'm not a huge lover of mince pies, I'm not gonna lie. I tried my first mince pie last year in work, I got dared to do it because I kept buying them for everyone and yet I've never tried one. So I just thought, you know what? I'll try it. And the only thing I didn't like about it was like the orange peel bit inside the citrusy sort of aftertaste. But otherwise, I never expected it to taste the way it did. These ones got a bit of alcohol in actually, dry cider for a rich deep flavor. So we'll see. So for a little Christmassy treat, I'll show you guys how Doris eats the whipped cream. She literally eats it straight out of the um, bottle basically. So here you go. She has been waiting very patiently for this. <laughs> because it's Christmas, it just has to be done. Um, look at my little slippers by the way. Little Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse Christmas ones. Very, very cute. <laughs> and that's just the way 
dog ownership goes. Like you just have to pay the dogs the food tax. That is just the law. I feel like I've been dragging this out now. We're gonna try the mince pie so I can get on with the rest of the video and the rest of the day. It's kind of like stuck in there actually, isn't it? So yeah, here we go. First mince pie of December. And this is actually my second mince pie I've ever tasted. So let's give it a go. The last one I tasted for reference was like the cheap Audi ones, like the 99p ones that you get. So let's see what the special ones taste like. Hmm. Very nice. They're not too big. Perfect if you don't like eating too much or to kind of spread out your diet throughout the day because Christmas Day can be so hectic sometimes. Like there's so much food going on. Chocolate, dinner, puddings, desserts, crackers and cheese, the entire lot. So things like this, just like you can have that but not too much of it, which is really good. So yeah, this was actually really nice. I'm really impressed with this. That is basically my breakfast so far. Wake up in the morning, mince pie, hot chocolate, ready for the day. I feel like the decorations always take me longer than I think in my head. I've got like a vision that I'm going to do, but I always feel like it's going to take me an hour and yet like six hours later I'm still doing it. I've got around 15 boxes in the attic to go through. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She's still waiting. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Really happy with that. Really nice. I was, I was hoping that I was going to enjoy that because I don't really have many other breakfast items for this video. Before the day gets hectic, I'm going to finish my hot chocolate, put on some kind of Christmas movie. Netflix is just my favourite go-to for this time of year. They've got so many Christmas films on there. With a nice hot chocolate, a nice Christmas movie, we are going to be heading off to a good start for this video. So let's go and do it. I am going to take another mince pie because I really, really enjoyed that, which I'm really surprised by because, like I said, not normally a fan so i'm gonna get these every year now and actually get into the full festive spirit of it all because mince pies i feel like are everyone's go-to at this time of year that is christmas you know so yeah already netflix have got an entire christmas catalog there's so many good options maybe give this one a go because it's come up recently so let's give that one a go here we go my one mince pie is now escalated to two the little sprinkles i put on are actually like little mini sweets interesting the lighting in this house is just, yeah, on the next level, bad. So I have just finished my breakfast and the next task of the day is to get the Christmas decorations down from the attic. That is where it all kicks off. Like the attic is where it's all at and then we can just get on with the rest of the decorating process because that's the most fun part. And the hatch is open. <laughs> of action is to put all of the homeware that I already have around the house away into the boxes and replace them all with the Christmas versions so it's kind of like a little swap I am just gonna put the tree up first and then kind of work my way around that and just figure it out as we go along so yeah let's fast forward get the decorations up and I'll see you in a couple of hours hopefully a couple of hours and not too much longer <laughs> gone for colours this year normally I go for like a warm white but colourful is back going in full tack and yeah we're just about to put the ball balls on so yeah let's go hi guys so it's a couple of hours later now and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I need to get out the house because if you guys are anything like me Christmas decorations are always fun but it comes to a point where it's like it feels like you're not getting anywhere so I'm gonna go out get some snacks a little Christmas drink or something like that maybe M&S cafe or go to Greg's drive-thru I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm gonna do I am gonna keep a little elf jumper on just because we're in the Christmas spirit I'll probably button up the coat a little bit if I do get embarrassed but we'll see <laughs> to you i'm a little bit disappointed in today's little shop for christmas snacks i'm gonna turn my engine off because i'm not planning on going anywhere anytime soon i went to the mns cafe which don't get me wrong i normally enjoy but since they've renovated it and it's all gone like kind of really digital and like humanless it kind of puts me off and i know like we're in that generation now where things are kind of evolving and changing and like technology is becoming this big thing but when I go to a cafe I just love that interaction with people I think that's the whole kind of like community of going to a cafe is is 
kind of communicating with other human beings having that chat having that i don't know that experience of like talking to a real person ordering a hot chocolate deciding what you want from the menu um but at the current situation um this is no dig to mns but it's just the way things are and i'm not really like a very modern person in terms of like all the technology side of things i'm quite old-fashioned in that way quite like an old soul but like the fact you can't really look at a menu until you go to the digital screen kind of like mcdonald's um in a cafe experience it's just not for me so i didn't end up going to the cafe just because i just found it a little bit too much a little bit overwhelming a little bit too new and modern for me personally and but yeah i am kind of not on that vibe of like being too modern to a point where we kind of lose human contact and human connection and stuff like that that is where it kind of draws a line for like modern change if that makes sense um just cutting out human beings in that whole process is just not it for me i'm not gonna go any further than that but that's just how i feel about that situation and a lot of people walked away from that don't get me wrong the cafe was absolutely full because it is very busy it's christmas time but for a lot of people who are like-minded like me we looked at the system and was like no this is not for us this is just something that doesn't tick our boxes and yeah i absolutely love mns either way the food selection was great um i managed to pick up a couple of things i picked up some percy pig christmas themed sweets which look a little bit like this so i'm going to give those a little go they are the merry percymus sweets and they are vegan as well which is the one thing i love about mns they have such a great vegan vegetarian range and like even the made free options are really good as well this is what they look like it's like a little percy pig christmas hat sweet and these ones were one pound 90 so they're always really good there's nothing different about them at this time of year other than the fact that they have little christmas santa hats on i'm gonna stop myself there and the last thing that i picked up from mns is this little cheese hat thing here um really cute really festive vibes i think it would look really really nice on like a cheese platter on christmas day evening or boxing day they've also got like a little stocking one as well this one was five pounds i'm not going to try it now because i'm going to have it later i'm going to do like a christmas night kind of cheese board thing just a nice little christmasy sort of touch to your normal everyday sort of food which i really appreciate when supermarkets do that just feel like christmas becomes more special and just yeah so i'm gonna head off now to greg's and have a little look at their festive menu and i'll show you guys what i pick up well, can I get hiya can i get a vegan festive bake please and a mint hot chocolate hi guys so i've just been to greg's drive-thru and picked up a mint hot chocolate which is one of the festive menu and i've also picked up like you probably heard the festive vegan bake i have never tried even when i was not a vegetarian when i was eating meat i've never tried a festive bake before so the fact they do a vegan one now i'm pretty intrigued to try it so yeah let's give it a go um this one's quite hot at the moment so i'm gonna leave that for a little bit to cool down but yeah so this is what we're doing I have no idea what's inside it i don't know if i'm gonna like it this was four pounds 25 i think it was for the hot chocolate and the festive bake that's actually not bad mm, that's really nice you can taste the stuffing in there there's definitely some kind of cranberry in there as well it does smell like christmas dinner though inside it smells really good oh that's really nice that is so nice it's like minty but not to a point where it's like after eight sort of level where it's too much too overpowering it's kind of like a nice refreshing like icy mint sort of touch but yeah i'm gonna go back in again with that festive bake because it's really really nice and then hopefully that will kind of fuel me up whilst i finish off doing all the christmas decorations ready for a nice christmas dinner <laughs> so it's been a couple of hours since i last ate 
a meal or some sort of food for this challenge. I've been super busy decorating the house for Christmas, tidying it up, getting ready for a few things going on. We are going away on holiday as well, so just a few things going on in the background of this video. But yeah, we are going to have some dinner now. I'm super excited for this. We are having a lovely Christmas dinner with all the trimmings and I cannot wait for it. I'm super, super hungry. So for the stuffing balls, I've used this little mixture here. Makes around 12, but I've only used like a little handful. See how that works, because I don't want to waste too much food by doing this. I'm not a huge fan of stuffing anyway, but um, we're going to give it a go and see how it turns out. Again, my hand looks so weird on camera. Leave it for around five minutes. I've got everything else in the oven ready. I had it all going on in the background so, because otherwise I would have never have got this food in at all. And then moving on to the turkey that we're gonna make. I'm gonna be using the organic smoked tofu from Aldi and we're basically gonna cut this up, hopefully like slice it and then give it a little bit of a fry up on the old frying pan. <laughs> So all the veggies are done. I've just had to put the stuffing in again for another 15 minutes because they just weren't done in the middle. They're still quite like soggy. So I just put them in again for a little bit longer. The last thing we need to add to this is a little bit of cranberry sauce. Never in my life have I had this on my dinner before. I know it's a Christmas tradition, but I've just never tried it. Just never felt like it was my sort of thing. But yeah, we're gonna give this a go. Gonna pop it on the older tofu turkey sort of thing that I've made. So this is my Christmas dinner for today. I cannot wait to get this down me. I've got my stuffing, got my cranberry sauce, got my carrots, got my Brussels sprouts, roast potatoes, my tofu turkey, some peas, lots of gravy as always, all served up in this little cute Christmas tree plate which I picked up I probably from TK Maxx or Home Sense, something like that a couple of years ago. So to wash down my Christmas dinner I'm gonna be having a little bit of mulled white. It is Christmas tradition. I got this in Aldi for like £2.99, super cheap. I don't normally drink alcohol, I'm not, I don't really do it like maybe once a year on my birthday or an odd occasion but I don't really drink alcohol that much or basically at all but just for the video and just because of the Christmas spirit I'm gonna give this a go so yeah this is basically a little Christmas treat bit of mulled wine proper Christmas vibes and I'm all here for it not too sure on that one very like citrusy ah it's got orange lemon red berry fruits balanced with spice aromas nutmeg cloves and cinnamon yeah you can kind of taste all of it there there's only one thing left to do now is to chill out watch a movie eat my dinner and sip on a good old glass of mulled wine i was planning to have my dinner around 12 one o'clock but here we are cannot wait to tuck into this it's been a long time coming gotta have a sprout first because that is christmas to a tea so I've just finished my Christmas dinner. It's absolutely lovely. A little bit of feedback and review of the cranberry sauce. I don't believe it belongs on any kind of like savory food. If I'm being honest with you, like having something sweet, I think it was very sweet in my opinion, with a roast dinner just didn't go down very well. I didn't enjoy it. Years ago, if I told you I'd be telling you that I enjoy eating sprouts now, I tell you you're mad because yeah, these days I actually really enjoy eating sprouts. They're such a big part of like that seasonal veg for this time of year. And I don't like seeing food go to waste and sprouts are kind of like one of the most common food waste items that go to waste every year at this time of year. So I feel like morally that's what's happened with the whole sprout situation. I force myself to like them because I kind of feel sorry for them. The fact that they get wasted like every single year in such massive quantities. Anyway, you don't want to hear all about that. I am now ready for a little bit of dessert. Um, I haven't really eaten much sweet stuff today, to be honest with you. I've had like um, the Percy Pigs, but I had like two or three, maybe another one on the way back in the car. But um, we're gonna have this Christmas pudding. Now a little confession, again, I am the world's probably fussiest eater, but I am trying to kind of like get myself out of that mindset of being a fussy eater. But again, purpose of this video, we're gonna try it because I enjoy doing these videos because I get to try new things and do things sort of a little bit out of my comfort zone. Got a little bit of custard with this. These are both from Aldi. So this is what the Christmas pudding looks like. Um, all warmed up from Chef Mike, aka the microwave. It's gonna take a little bit because like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this. This is what it looks like, um, kind of what I expected, like a really dense, 
fruit sort of cake. Hopefully the custard saves it because like I said, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this. It's like an inside of a mince pie without the pastry and stuff and a little bit of custard on there. I don't know if that's the custard making it taste okay or if it actually does taste okay. I don't like it. I really don't. I'm sorry. I'm trying to enjoy it. I'm trying to like convince myself it's like, I don't know, like a raisin sponge cake with a bit of cinnamon in, but I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it. That's the thing. Like I can try and force myself to eat it, but enjoying it's another thing. <laughs> mm. There's just too much flavour going on there. Do you know what I mean? Like, good morning, everyone. Obviously, last night I ended up taking a bath and then just going to sleep. I was so tired, so I didn't manage to finish filming what I planned to do with the old uh, cheese and cracker board. My ears sticking out. What is that about? Not a fan of that. Thank you. I don't know. We're gonna have to include the ears. They're gonna stay. But we're awake now. It is currently breakfast time. I'm gonna make myself some nice Christmassy sort of porridge. I love porridge at this time of year. It's so cozy, so kind of like warming. It's absolutely freezing today. Took the dogs out for a walk and it was ice cold. So a nice bowl of porridge is gonna warm me up. So I cannot wait. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it and put a little bit of a Christmas touch on it. Add a little bit of cinnamon, a bit of ginger, some little Christmas decor on top of it. So for the Christmas porridge, I'm gonna be using, well, obviously some porridge oats, the Maltesers mini reindeers. I'll show you why in a minute. Got some strawberry, strawberry? That's how tired I am, by the way, guys. I've got some all butter shortbread fingers. Not that you need to know the full description of what that is. Um, I've got some chocolate coins as well and some blueberries also for the seasoning i'm going to be using some ground cinnamon some ginger a little touch of salt because that goes a long way in the porridge and then also a bit of vanilla hold on and for a special touch because it's christmas porridge i'm going to be using a little bit of gold dust edible spray and the last thing we're going to need for this or if you choose to use it is a little bit of like a dessert sauce sort of thing for the toppings so yeah i'm going to show you guys how i make my special porridge because it's so good i love it it's so addicting it feels like a, like a dessert also guys what do you think about the old christmas jumper i found it in the attic it's been around for a couple of years um i picked it up in like a vintage kilo sales like an american one but look how cute it is little cat it reminds me of my cat gary that's the reason why i picked it up in the cell it's so cute and yeah got these little snowflakes all around it so yeah what a great find in the kilo cell i love a good old vintage kilo shop so to make my porridge i always use mainly like 80 percent water 20 percent milk um, and the reason for this is because it makes it more thicker the toppings that i put on are quite calorie dense so it just makes it more filling more enjoyable and kind of guilt-free method of making porridge um so yeah i'm just gonna be using a normal saucepan i've got like a little one for this i'm not gonna make too much uh, my partner doesn't actually like porridge he doesn't really like that sort of, ooh, doesn't really like that sort of consistency when it comes to food like custard and stuff like that he's not a huge fan of but yeah i'm just gonna literally use like a cup full of oats these ones are like the super cheap ones from aldi i don't really think you need anything special to make porridge with to be honest i'm gonna put you guys so you can actually see what i'm doing my dogs are freaking out they're not sure why i'm talking to myself at this time in the morning i'm just gonna try and fast cook this as much as possible nuke the shit out of it and yeah basically for the seasoning i've got the cinnamon got the ginger i'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in literally like that and then i'm gonna add my ginger i like to put a lot of this on because it makes the porridge taste quite biscuity like shortbread like gingerbread sort of vibes um and then yeah cinnamon as well don't don't go too small on it i literally use quite a lot and it smells incredible already so whilst my porridge is cooking up i'm going to be using this little cookie down here because obviously being a christmas themed video we're going to be having cookies and milk with some porridge and i just feel like that would just make it such a nice christmasy breakfast vibe um this one here is actually like a new find in aldi um it's a whole cookie dough you can find this in the refrigerated item and all you need to do is kind of chop it up into little circles which is already kind of rolled out pop it into the oven for 10 minutes and you've got a fresh cookie so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna be using a normal baking tray and as you can see it is already like basically ready to go obviously being my channel you don't need to use a knife as big as this but yeah i'm gonna use a chopping board because with this knife you don't want to have any accidents and we're basically just going to chop oh my goodness look how i've made an easy job very difficult maybe if i cut it a bit more thicker than that uh if i do it maybe here i think it's because the chocolate chips are really thick in there like look at that proper nice 
So now that this is all chopped up and ready to go, I'm gonna put this in the oven for around 10 to 12 minutes and show you guys what they look like afterwards. And this is what they look like all complete. Look how amazing they've turned out. Perfectly round. I could never do that by myself. They always come out really wonky looking. So the porridge is basically done. <laughs> So this is how the porridge turns out. I'm just going to leave this for two minutes just so that it can cool down so the toppings when I put them on top don't melt and go all gooey and funky looking. In case you're wondering, Doris is actually here in the background like always following me around the house like my little shadow. We've also got this little gingerbread toy. Do you want any treats? We've actually picked them up some pigs and blanket dog treats. I might go and give her one. This is kind of related to the video, right? These are pigs and blankets dog treats. Good boy. So I'm going to show you guys how I decorate my porridge for Christmas. I'm just taking one of the shortbread fingers and just literally going to crumble it up onto my porridge. And the last detail to finish this porridge is to add a little bit of gold dust. Look how cool that looks. That looks super pretty. But yeah, this is how it turns out. A little bit of Christmas touch. We've got the little coins. We've got the shortbread flavor all the way throughout the porridge. I'm just gonna dish up these cookies now because I think they're pretty much ready to go. And that is my Christmas breakfast done. So happy with that. Cannot wait to try these. This porridge is gonna go down such a treat. I I'm just gonna sit on the floor because as you can see in the background, Bruno is splurged out all over the sofa. But I'm just gonna try these cookies and milk. Mm. They are nice with the milk as well. This has to be done. We are now gonna tuck into the porridge. I'm sorry girl, you can't have any my friend. Oh my God, I'm real. Every time I eat this porridge, it's the best thing I've ever had in my life. Hi guys, so if you literally blink these days, it is evening again. Um, I've been super busy doing a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going on holiday in a couple of days time. So I'm just going around cleaning the house, packing a few things. And I kind of built myself up a pretty good appetite for a nice finishing snack of this whole video. I'm going to be doing a cheese and crackers board. Um, I've managed to pick up a cracker selection box here with all sorts of different like crackers in basically. I've got some carrots which I'm going to slice up. I've got some hummus which I'm going to use as a little dip and then I've also got a chocolate mini panettone from Aldi as well which I'm going to use. I've got some French brie which would be really nice for the crackers. So that's basically what I'm going to be eating whilst I edit this video. I want to get it up as soon as possible. I'm going to plate everything up on this little Santa dish here. It's really cute. I like this one. <laughs> Wait. Yes. Good girl. So this is the completed cheese graze board. It looks like a little bit of everything to be honest with you. I've got a glass of orange juice to go with it whilst I edit my video. And for the next couple of hours, I'll be munching along with this. I feel like this is definitely Christmas as well, just because like that's what we normally do on the evening. Personally, at Christmas time in my family, a load of leftovers, cheese and crackers come out. So yeah, I'm basically just chilling here with my little graze board that I've made. I've also rescued some of the turkey from yesterday that I made. Kind of sliced it up to make it look like leftover turkey bites. So yeah, let's try. Mmm, so nice. So yeah, I'm going to tuck into this, finish editing the video. So yeah, that has been my 24 hours eating only Christmas foods. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and spending a day with me as I eat all these different types of foods. The Greg's Festive Bake was by far one of my favourite things I've tried in a very long time. It was really, really good. So Christmassy and festive. And yeah, I just really enjoyed having a prolonged kind of like Christmas spirited day video. It's been really, really fun to do and film and eating all these delicious foods. If you guys have enjoyed watching, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you again soon in my next one. Bye.